and I heard this was National Business Women's Week, there was one woman I just had to have on the show, Sally Krawcheck, the legendary former CEO of Merrill Lynch's wealth management business. Now, she's got a new job as the founder and CEO of Elevest. It's a privately held digital investment advisor designed around women. It's, this is the number 45 on CNBC's Disruptor 50 list. The idea here is that the whole industry was designed around men. You might think this stuff would be naturally gender neutral. Uh-uh, big differences. For example, women tend to live a lot longer than men, which means they've got, you got to put uh, different thoughts entirely toward retirement. That's a brilliant concept, which is why all of us has been growing like a weed. So let's check in with Wall Street legend Sally Krawcheck, the co-founder and CEO of Elevest, and a personal friend <laughs> and an icon, too, to learn more about how her disruptive company is getting more women involved in money management and taking care of themselves and taking control of their finances. Sally, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. I'm so happy to be here. If I'd known they were going to do the disruptor, I would have brought the Disruptor socks that y'all sent out? Do you know you sent out disruptor socks? I did socks? not know that. Because Next time. what says disruptor more than socks? Uh, I, you know what? You st got me stumped there. I, I can't think so. Nothing. When I heard about you, what you were doing, and, you know, I'm a fan and a friend, I said, it's about time. Mm. And it's the right time, isn't it? Well, I appreciate that. When I thought about doing it, and when people said to me, gosh, you should start an investing platform for women, my first thought was, that is such a really not very good idea. Women don't need their own thing. You know, there are plenty of options out there. And then the more I thought about it, when I realized it doesn't matter whether I think women need their own thing, the numbers were telling me that we do. Yeah, it seems like that there is uh, the ratio of women in the world versus, mm -hmm. versus women in this industry is particularly bad. Oh, my gosh. It, um, it is a male-dominated business. I mean, the vast majority of financial advisors are men, call it 85 percent. The vast majority of mutual fund management, 90 percent. The vast majority of mutual fund money, 98 percent of mutual fund dollars are run by men, despite the research that tells you women are as good, certainly not worse, investors than men. I think... And you know, I believe this, that there is inherent discrimination in our industry. Look, Jane Frazier, terrific mm. banker, mm. just now yep. uh, elevated, maybe one day a woman will run a major bank. Isn't this in, in, in 2019 crazy? But here's, here's, the, here's the crazier part about it, which is that Wall Street as an industry is all about no emotion, just the facts. Cha let's go after returns, highest risk adjusted returns, no offense, cream rises to the top. And yet it hasn't tapped into a really very powerful means of driving greater performance, which is cognitive diversity, which is often driven by diversity of gender, background, perspective, et cetera. So here you have this, in theory, pure meritocracy. Right. That is not at all diverse. All right, so let's say I sign yeah. up with you, and yeah. apparently, what, growing a, a tremendous amount per month. So I want to be part of the yeah. army, of Sally's Great. army. What do I get? Where do I start? Well, we take men, too. I okay. love to say, on our digital side, our investing algorithm simply kills you sooner. Right. Um, and, and, and sadly, has you earn more. And so, you know, we have a digital offering, which is where we started, which is an online experience tailored to women in explicit ways, such as this gender awareness right. of, of life expectancy, but in some sort of d smaller ways, too. For example, we learned that men will invest through verbiage jargon that they're like, mm -hmm. I don't quite know what that is. Here, I, you know, let me go. Right. Women, whoa, let me, let me get out the old finance dictionary. Mm -hmm. And we have about a thousand little differences. So we have a digital business. We also now have a high net worth business yeah, where we have financial good. advisors who are engaging with women and our allies as well. Now, uh, because you know my family, my situation, uh, my wife was at one point an ex-wife, mm -hmm. as you know, and I felt that ex-wives in particular are treated as if they are, I'm gonna say a pejorative term, dopes yeah. by the male men in the industry. This seems like a 50% of the marriages end in divorce. Lots of smart women mistreated because it's like, oh, well, she doesn't know anything. You could be an antidote to that. Well, we, I don't know that I would agree with every word that just came out of your mouth. What I would say is that for us as women, we have, society has really said, you're, yeah, you're not that great with money. Let the man manage it. Right. 90% of women manage their money on their own at some point in their lives. When women outsource it to their spouse or partner, 75% have a negative surprise when that money management comes back to them. And so for some women, 
what the existing offering works just fine, right. but there is a there is a big need there for an offering that's really focused on women. Now people are listening to this and they're saying, well, you know what? I, I, how do I get shares in Elvest? Yeah. Because this <laughs> Sally Krawcheck, it's total winner. I really like this idea for the company, but it's not yet, right? No. And we're we're venture funded. Uh, we started from a dead standstill. A couple, now I guess three years ago, almost three years ago. Um, we've got some great investors in our company. We tried to be truly mission aligned from who our investors are to what we do. So Melinda Gates, mm. Pivotal Ventures is one of our investors. Penny Pritzker, PSP Capital, Rethink Impact, a number of the all raise venture capitalists who are part of that Me Too right. movement, the female venture capitalists out there, Rethink Impact, a large gender lens mission-based investor. So we're trying to really sort of walk the walk as well as talk the talk and, and be very mission-based because, one, it's, it's great and fun to do, but about the most powerful thing you can do to help a society and an economy is get more money in the hands of women. Empowerment. Which is why for so many of your viewers who I'm guessing, or quite a few of them are male, they may say, why do I care? You care because of this mission. You also care because for the next generation, there's not one of us, no, no matter how traditional you are, that wants our daughters to have less money than our sons. Right. And this gender investing gap is costing our daughters hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of dollars. And for the dads out there, you do not yep. want nope. your daughter caught in a job where she's being chased around the desk. Same. You, right? And you know you that's want my her to be situation. Able to out. And I worry every minute about it. And you know, know what? My mission is to have you on as much as possible. How about that? There we go. All I right. like that mission. That's Sally Korczak. She's the co-founder and CEO and a heroine of mine, or say, can I say hero? Yes. Of Elevest. <laughs> Bad Money's back yet to the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.